From the Cruise Radio Studio in Jacksonville, Florida, this is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Here's your Cruise News for Friday, October 29th, 2021. After extensive renovations, Carnival Radiance officially arrived in Miami, Florida on Thursday. Earlier this month, the ship departed the shipyard in Cadiz, Spain and headed across the Atlantic. It first stopped at Freeport and then Port Miami. Soon, Radiance will head across the Panama Canal to her new home port of Long Beach, California and begin Mexican Riviera sailings on December 13th. And MSC Cruises has announced that MSC Seaview will be based in St. Martin and Barbados for the upcoming winter Caribbean season. Previously, she was scheduled to sail from Martinique, but that country has not quite yet opened up to cruise ships as of right now. The ship will offer two different seven-night itineraries, both departing from both home ports. Seaview will join MSC Maravilla, Divina, and Seashore in the Caribbean region for this winter. And finally, Royal Caribbean Group has announced that it'll soon have its first hybrid-powered cruise ship that'll debut in 2023. Luxury brand Silver Sea Cruises is developing a new class of ships called Project Evolution, which will use a combination of fuel cells, batteries, and liquefied natural gas for power. The hybrid system will allow the ships to be free of local emissions while in port and achieve a 40% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions compared to Silver Sea's previous class of ships. And cruise line stocks were up on Thursday. It's about time. Carnival Corporation up 1.5, 21.97. Royal up 1%, 84.25. And Norwegian up 1.2, 25.81. Breaking news and up to the minute industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. The next time we see each other, hopefully I'll be down in South Florida aboard Celebrity Apex. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have a great weekend. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.